Dan will sum that up for us then. Frustrating evening, to be honest. I don't. They haven't done a lot to win the game, and we're frustrated with our uh, our quality at times and uh, getting the right forward cohesion. We've we've had enough opportunities to to get into areas, whether that be the good final ball, good finish, clinical pass, looking after the ball. And it's, it's a strange one, really, because you, you come off scratching your head thinking, well, they haven't done a lot to, to, to win the game. And we've, we find ourselves on a, on a defeat because we haven't shown that in the right areas, the right composure. Is it hard, though, when you've got players who perhaps haven't played at this level before to understand that when they're out there on the pitch for you to get it across to them? Oh, it is, but you know we keep working away as a group. We, uh, you know, it's nice for us to get off the mark. First goal, worked hard up at the top end of the pitch, and we'll, we'll keep improving. We, we need to keep improving. We, we're a million miles away from where we'd, we'd like to be going to, but that that takes a bit of time, a bit of patience, and uh, plenty of training work on the training ground. And we, we'll keep building those relationships with the players and getting that cohesion, so we're a little bit more fluid going forward. Just talk us through the team selection. No Cass, no Mal Bennett. No, tonight. no, no. It's, it's, it's a tough workload at the minute. I'm trying to get the balance right of, of making sure that we don't get players breaking down, uh, getting players minutes into the, the belt that will put us in good stead further down the line. So they'll be both in contention on Saturday, no problem. We've got uh, Worrells back on the grass. Gavin Macy was a, a slight injury concern, but we're hoping to have him back at the weekend and, and Willow stepping up his rehab nicely as well. So the more players we can get fit uh, by the end of August, the, the better the competition for places are and it brings a little bit more quality to our team. I remember when you said about Exeter, there were some non-negotiables. Did, did that happen tonight? Was that Yeah, better? listen, it, wasn't a, it was nothing to do with non-negotiables. It was just the quality at the right time in the right areas, whether it be your, your final pass, your, your finish, your cross, your shot, your set piece, all those little bits and pieces that, that you need to be good at to, to win football matches. And like I said, I, I didn't think uh, MK Dons needed to do a lot to win the game. A couple of good strikes from the edge of the box, but we're disappointed. Ellis got his first goal, as you say, for a goal scorer, for a striker. That's good. He needs more of that now. Yeah, no, Ellis. Uh, he, 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 I know what Ellis is going to bring. He's, you know, he's, he's had a couple of games now, and, and players are still finding the feet. We, we get that, and, and uh, we understand that as, as, as a coaching staff of, of where we need to be working and what we need to be doing to make sure that the, the performances become better and better and become more consistent. When you're trying to get to, up to where you want to be, how important is that togetherness and team spirit? You oh, listen, about we, we, listen we'll, we'll always have that. You know, the fans have backed us in the numbers today. We'll have that and we'll, we'll, keep, we'll keep doing that and driving, driving the club forward.